I competed in some uh, professional grappling championships as well. Went for the Asian championship, went to the world championship. So after all this, I realized the only thing that I can step into right now is MMA. In my head, if you can control someone without throwing strikes, without hitting them, that's that's an art. You know? Some national championship where the where we are supposed to get food. But the food that we were getting, that was like stale, that was like two days old. I still have the same goal. Learn from wherever you can. Learn from everywhere. Learn from everyone. As I was growing up, I saw most of my friends, they were into WWE. So we all know that's not real. So the moment I tried to tell my friends that, you know, that this is not real, you know, we should not follow stuff like this. They kind of told me, no, like, you know, this is real and all that. And then suddenly one day I saw two people fighting inside a cage. And I think that was the first time when I realized I have to do this. So the first thing, the first step that I took was research, you know, know about the sport, know what are the arts, how it works, what is MMA, what is grappling, what is striking. So I researched a lot, found places where I can learn striking separately, look for places where I can grapple, learn grappling separately. I have always had a thing for grappling. The first time I saw two people, like you know, like in a judo or a BJJ match, I was like, this is something that I want to do because in my head, if you can control someone without throwing strikes, without hitting them, that's that's an art. You know, like you don't need to be violent to protect yourself or to like you know uh, to attack someone, but you need to know how to dominate, how to control. And if we can control our own body, then we can control different bodies as well. I always had the thing for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu but I also realized that to get better at Jiu Jitsu you need to learn other things as well like you have to train Judo, you have to train wrestling and so that's how I started learning from here and there, traveling. I still have the same goal, learn from wherever you can, learn from everywhere, learn from everyone. Mostly the challenges that I have faced is, uh, so most of the tournaments they uh, you know the organizations like you know there are some bodies which are actually taking care of the athletes but most of this national tournaments like be it kickboxing be it grappling uh, i never really enjoyed the organization i never really enjoyed the way they were controlling everything you know like for example uh, uh, i would want to bring something up so some national championship where the where we are supposed to get food but the food that we were getting that was like stale that was like two days old so my, most of the people, after having it, they kind of they started having stomach disorders and all. So I think the most important thing that most of these national bodies or the association need to understand is to take care of the athletes. You need to have a good infrastructure. If you don't have it, fine. At least take good care of the athletes, like hygiene and health and food and stick to your words. Most of the time, people are changing their words just like that. My transition was very simple. I was like, since I've started training grappling, since I am trained in BJJ and judo and wrestling, so I was like, why not test it out? So I started with grappling tournaments. Uh, I have few national championships under my name. I have, I competed in some uh, professional grappling championships as well. Went for the Asian championship, went to the world championship. So after all this, I realized the only thing that I can step into right now is MMA because it's a, you know, it's the place where you can actually test out your skills and you can actually see if you are good enough and you know like and it's and it's it's a uh, i would say it's a very open uh, how do i say this uh, if you are grappling then you know only how to like grapple you don't know how to strike if you are striking then you know only how to strike and not grapple so mma is the only platform where you can do whatever you want you can strike you can grapple you can throw you can do whatever you want so that's how my transition into MMA happened because I wanted to test out my skills and see how good I am against most of the athletes in the country. So it's a long story. So this is my fifth month in Goa. So I was one of the sponsored athletes back in AK, uh, in AK Manram Beach. But due to some indifferences, due to some differences, I am not, I'm not going to AK anymore. So then I contacted Bonnie. And I told her my whole situation and that and the fact that I want to fight and especially if it's possible I can get a fight in Art of Combat then it would be really great. And she instantly she accepted my thing and she was like you can come and train with us. So I worked with her for almost a month. They worked with me actually. I should not say I worked with them. They all, everyone from Tribal Warriors, they really helped me a lot. They worked with, they worked with me a lot and yeah, now I'm fighting for them. 
So when I started grappling, it was just grappling, 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 grappling. And then I transitioned into MMA. But then I suffered some injuries. I have had a jaw reconstruction. So after four MMA fights, I kind of stopped competing and training for MMA because again, jaw reconstruction, I, I and I couldn't do much things. But I kept on competing in grappling, national, professional, etc., etc. Then I, I even traveled to Thailand, spent six months there, trained at AK Thailand. So now again, I came back after like four years. So my first, and I came back uh, as a professional MMA fighter, not uh, amateur or uh, semi-pro fighter as well. Anyway, so I came back, but unfortunately the last fight was, I suffered loss. But again, the career just started and you can't stop and you have to keep fighting. So again, I took a fight in like three months and I'm here fighting tonight. The only thing that I would say to all the upcoming athletes or people who want to act actually want to have a career in this sport, I'm not going to say it's easy, I'm not going to say it's hard, but I'm going to say it's not impossible. So just keep showing up, just have your goals straight, keep training, keep fighting and yeah, that's it, don't give up.